Center circle alongside Jason Carter. Settle back and enjoy it, everybody. Game on as we're taking the hoop all night long here in downtown Cleveland. Buffalo went back door. Ohio likes to play that, that strong, collapsing defense. Shot clock at three. Sparks not going to get to the rim. Ohio got that uh, that big stop of that first possession. This is Ben Vanderplas. A lot of experience. Firing the three and ring that baby up. Miles Brown. Miles Brown connecting on that deep triple. Great pass there by Vanderplas. Really with a lot of juice on that pass. Sparks will head to the rim. Lay it home with the left hand. Well, the last thing you want to do as a post defender is lunge through the passing lane on the post feed. That's what Vanderplas did, and guess what? Gave him the wide open layup, just the easy run to the rim. Well, Jason Carter at six foot eight. He'll shoot that perimeter jumper in the three. This is Vanderplas. Roderick will fire the three. Didn't go down. Offensive board, though, for Ohio. The Bobcats at 23 and 8. Step back jumper rolled around. Iron kind for Jason Carter. He's 6 foot 8, and he likes to shoot the basketball. And likes to shoot the fadeaway there off one foot. Yep. Well, that strong take to the cup and they're going to get to the free throw line for Miles Brown committed that personal foul. Strong take to the hoop there and uh, trying to readjust that for Ball State. Look at the split the pair for the Cardinals. We'll as you take a look at uh, Jeff Bowles played his college basketball uh, for the Ohio Bobcats. Well, I tell you what, Tyler Cochran <laughs> built like a football <laughs> player. He's again, he's one of we yeah. we've been doing all these games today, but you can tell he's one of my guys. Big, thick, strong body, and can get downhill on you. Yeah, that'll work if you put the pads and helmets on, Tyler Cochran, no doubt about it. Ohio by three here in the early going. This is Jason Carter working on Sparks. Sparks made him pick that dribble up. Sears gave it up. Carter for three. Nope. Too firm off the left side of the iron. Cochran again will trigger the three and uh, that football bodied. I don't know. You can call him a tight end. You can call him a middle linebacker. I know this. He's got strength and he's hard to move and he's able to shoot that three too. Well, nice three in transition there. A great kick ahead pass. Got him the open three on the right wing. Now the rip away. It's steel. Ball State got the rip. That's Luke Bumbalo. Didn't get it to the rim on that triple try. Jason Carter pushing Carter and Vanderplas. They got that size. He can shoot it from the perimeter. Mark Sears whether well, to check that. Miles Brown wasn't able to drop that down. Turning that corner and going off the glass for Ball State. Able to connect there was a strong drive with Demarius Jacobs. Just way too easy on that drive. And Jacobs made it look easy, but not really good defense there by Ohio. Ball State by a deuce. Sears missed that chippy off the left block. Tyler Cochran off the push. Sparks got a board. What a long range three is going to come up short. And Bernie Thomas. Off the step back again. That's Tyler Cochran knocking it out. Tell you what, he looks like a middle linebacker, but yeah. has he gotten off 
to a quick start. Two threes, a free throw. He's guarding at the other end. He's gotten off to a tremendous start. Sears all through traffic. Got it back, did Sears. Great dish for the Jason Carter Dunn bucket. Jason Carter. The veteran with a lot of experience. Sparks. They ran that side Peyton screen and roll well, and Peyton Sparks rocked the rim. Yeah, big time move there by Sparks on the roll to the rim. But I tell you, I like Demarius Jacobs. Just a nice, smooth pocket pass there to lead him to the rim and for the dunk. Uh, Vanderplas gave it up. Brown wanted Vanderplas to give him a ball screen. Carter. Good look at Carter, one of the top front court players in the Mid American Conference. And head coach Jeff Bowles went to his bench. He's got the Tommy Schmock in. Schmock wears uh, number 22. And uh, Schmock, uh, the first one off the bench tonight for Ohio. Now, IJ Azuma, I say that, and Azuma is the, uh, makes the second call. There's Azuma. He wears number 21, and he'll uh, give a respite to Jason Carter. Running this offense for Ball State, the Marius Jacobs. And Thomas wanted to go down inside, and Zuma said no. Ball State turning the basketball over. That's going to be a bump and a foul on the Ball State. Is foul is on Marne uh, Thomas. Put it in the hands of Miles Brown. Brown runs the show along with Sears. Sears dumped down inside, and that shot was rejected. Jihad Bashir of Ball State rejected that, firing the three. Miles Brown ringing up that Ohio triple to tie it at 12. Well, nice ball movement, crisp pass. That's what you want as a shooter, and he buried the three. Now, Thomas was looking down low at Jihad Bashir in the block. Thomas just traveled. Got indecisive, tried to put it on the deck and walked. I tell you, the first thing that jumps out at me in this game, Michael, is, is Ohio can guard. And I saw that when I was kind of preparing for this game, looking at numbers and but their numbers are good, but it's more it's better to watch them live in person, but they can guard you at the defensive end. So the question is, can Ball State score enough right. to win? And with Jeff Bowles, it's uh, one of the must haves. If you come into this Ohio system, you better be able to defend off the spin. Getting that up uh, and getting a shot to go to the free throw line is going to be Mark Sears, who had a tremendous year for Ohio. Mark Sears at the line. Foul was on the sheer Jihad. There's a good look at uh, Mark Sears, the uh, the left-hander. Had a real strong year, did he not, Burner? Well, he scores. He scores 19 a game. He makes, you know, he's made 52 threes. And it's one thing to make 52 threes, a lot of threes, but I always then look at percentage, but he's made 52 at 42%. So both of those numbers are really good. And boy, I tell you, he's a 91% free throw shooter, and he just missed that free throw. He did, but as you said, he can really stroke it. Bashir went to the rim. That's just too easy. I'm bragging on Ohio's defense and way too easy there. Nice drive by Jihad, but uh, just way too easy on the defensive end. Mm -hmm. That foul's going to go on Ben Vanderplas. 
After that Bashir Jihad bucket of the offensive end for Ball State. They put the Cardinals back on top again. About seven minutes deep into this one. Glad you're along for the fourth and final of the quarterfinal round here in the Mid-American Conference. Michael Regai, my partner Murray Barto, Danny Rogers on the sidelines. And all of our ESPN crew. That's a step through and finish. Marnie Thomas got that to go. Boy, it's looked like multiple step throughs. Thought he walked there, but again he finished it and he scored it and they didn't make the call. Yep, count that. In one coming for Mark Sears. He got the contact and his upper body strength, Murray, allows him to finish at the rim. Yeah, I agree. You know, a lot of guys, when they get in there and get hit, they get knocked to the floor. Not only did he get knocked to the floor, number one, he searched it out. He was really, he put his right shoulder into the chest of the defender. So, number one, he searched it out. Number two, he was able to finish versus that contact. A lot of, a lot of guys can't do that, Michael. No, that's definitely true, but Sears will head to the free throw line, so. Sears has got three and looking for four, but that kicked out on him. So Peyton Sparks and Luke Bumbalo. Mickey Pearson on the floor now. Bumbalo. He's got long range radar, folks, as he dialed up that three. And long range is right. 77 made threes at 36%. Again, if you're Ohio, you've got to try to force him to bounce it, put it on the floor. Off the step back, that's too firm for Ben Vanderplas. All stayed by four. They have been the aggressor here in the early go. Bumbalo with a left hand. Got it to drop. Not a huge driver, but that time he came off the ball screen, got downhill, more of a three-point shooter, but nice finish there with the left hand. Now Sears looking to author this offensive set for Ohio. Vanderplas on the back down. Sears will attack the bucket. Ohio on the offensive end for Ball State. Scored the ball much easier to this point than I thought they would. Bumbalo just rejected Sears. Carter thought about the three, didn't. Vanderplas. Bumbalo stole it away. Firing up that three that's not going to go down. Bumbalo on the return triple. That isn't going to go. A pair of trays thrown up by Ball State there. Luke Brown is on the floor. Played in 17 games on the year. This is Ben Vanderplas. Nope. Well, Ohio's cold to start this one. Not getting the shots quality wise they like. That left handed flip from Tyler Cochran wouldn't go. Up and down we go. Roderick threw it away. Cochran on the Ball State steal. Great rotation on that steal. And Tyler Cochran got a strong start. He's hit two threes, got a couple of boards, he's got two steals. That's for Ball State. That's Luke Brown, thought about it. Sparks. Brown, deep triple. Curled out on him. Ohio still down six. Sears having all kinds of problems. Schmock couldn't triple. Carter kept it alive. Sears from deep. Nope. Carter's got another offensive board. Schmock from deep. No. Three opportunities for Ohio at the offensive end. The Cats at just 29% and 22% from three. Cochran stepping back. Boy, shot. I don't know. Are there, are there lids on both rims right now? <laughs> Seems like it. Schmock again. Yeah, there, there lids on the rim. Schmock, he touched every side of the rim and up high on the glass and got it to go for three. Well, he can make shots. 54 makes coming into the game behind the arc at 38%. That's his deal. That's what he's got to be able to do. This is Bumbalo. Checked by Mark Sears. 
Cochran, not bashful at all. Deep three off that back heel. Well, Ball State has that field goal percentage really dropping now. This is Ben Roderick on the take. He lost the basketball. Had it slapped out of bounds by Ball State's Mickey Pearson. Let's say it's going to stay. Gonna stay with Ohio for the time being. James Whitford. Head coach of the Ball State Cardinals trying to become the fourth. Mac program to join one seed Toledo, two seed Kent State, four seed Akron. If Ohio gets there, you've got chalk one, two, three, and four seed wise tomorrow night in the summer. Sears on the take. Sizing up Jalen Sellers, still sizing him up. That long range three won't go down for, uh, for Roderick. Ball State not able to finish. This is Miles Brown in that basketball uh, out of bounds. It'll stay with Ohio. Shooting percentages dropping mightily, Murray Bartow, here in the last few minutes. You know, and I would credit some to the other team's defense, I'd credit some just to. Some bad shooting and missed shots. I tell yeah. you, I do like Jacob's speed down the floor, but then he missed that last layup. You got to convert that. Sears was bothered and came up short. Good defensive job by Jalen Sellers of All State. Now this is Tyler Cochran. A long range three. That's not going to go off the side of the iron as Pearson launched that. We're inside eight minutes left now. Ball State by three. Carter didn't finish. Thomas came away with the Ball State board. Demarius Jacobs now running in that backcourt with Ernie Thomas. As Luke Bumbolo gets a rest. Jacobs almost carried that and walked with it. Shot clock at five. Thomas will hang. Got it to drop. Shot clock is running out. I'll tell you what, a couple things there. I like the screen. Number one, a very smart screen by Mickey Pearson. And then he got Jacobs downhill to the rim. A great finish, but a nice screen to kind of set that play up. Well, Marius Jacobs on that strong finish, right? And Mark 17 and three, and then in the yeah. last five games are one and four. Don't know if there's been injuries or what's affected them the last five games, but they just haven't been quite as sharp, and quite frankly, they're just not quite as sharp here today as well. Yeah, they, uh, they fell down to the uh, three C coming in this one. We're trying to step through now. Well, the Ohio crowd wanted a walk on Murdy Thomas. No whistle. And Ohio's got an offense. Excuse me, Ball State's got an offensive board. Bumbleo gave it up. Shot clock at six. Strong drive to the rim and get that out of here. Said Ohio's I.J. Azuma on the shot rejection. Ohio down five. That quick trigger three, and you can bury that for Miles Brown. He can shoot it when he gets rolling. Well, he can shoot it. Nice penetrate kick. He was shot ready, made the three. The answer comes from Jalen Sellers, that left handed triple that goes. Well, there we go. Maybe they'll pick everybody up. A couple of back to back makes, threes on each end. Well, you said there was a lid on the basket. Maybe yeah. it's off. Hopefully. This is Vanderplas. A 6 8 offensive weapon for Jeff Bowles. That's going to be a reach in foul. It's going to go on Bowles State's Demarius Jacobs. Ball State number one, Demarius Jacobs. First, team six. It's a 16 foul for Bowles State. Ohio only has three. You know, Ohio's scoring revolves around Sears, Vanderplas, and Carter. Vanderplas was zero points to this point in the game, if I'm correct. 
and those three guys have to score. Oh yeah. I mean if Ohio is going to be successful you are absolutely right. Sears on the take. Count that. And one more coming from the line. So there's the upper body strength that Mark Sears able to finish. And really a great play if you look here two foot stop. Stops on a dime explodes straight up. You know a lot of guys drive it. They're out of control. They're going a hundred miles an hour and he drives it stops with a jump stop fires up again. You're exactly right. Then he's got the strength to finish the play. Yeah. So Jalen Sellers got hit on that personal foul. So Sellers is picking up that foul as you get a good look at Mark Sears. Top backcourt performers in the MAC this year, and a three-point completion has got Ohio back within a deuce, close as the Bobcats have been in the last eight minutes. So Luke Bumbleo wears number two, is back on the floor for Ball State, running with Demarius Jacobs. Jacobs gave it up. Sears will attack the bucket. Got it with the right hand. Well, that's where they're good, Michael. They get steals, they get deflections, they create turnovers. And then they go the other way, but that's what Ohio basketball is all about. You strip him, you now got numbers, the Euro step to finish the play by Sears. That's good basketball for them. And this Ohio crowd that always uh, knows how to roar in their Athens Convocation Center, they have uh, brought that green and white here to downtown Cleveland. And they're letting their Bobcats uh, hear about it positively. They got the, the defense chant rolling out now. We're tied at 26. Peyton Sparks has been quiet for a while. It's back freshman of the year for Ball State. Bumbleo's going to unload that triple. Never got to the rim. The basketball uh, to go back to Ohio. Bumbleo's telling his teammates, that's not me. That's, that's a bad decision I just made. Well, he can really, really shoot it, but if you're a shooter, Michael, I don't know if you know this, but you want to hit the rim. <laughs> but he can really, really, you know, great can. shooters shouldn't shoot air balls, and I consider him a really high-level shooter. You're not wrong. He is a high-level shooter. Sears, off hesitation. Vander Plas will stroke that deep three. And Vander Plas on a big time make. Ohio's got the lead. That's big because they needed to get him on the board, and he's a big time three point shooter. Finally got on the board. Sparks steps through, and we've got a uh, whistle. And that uh, Ohio foul is going to go. Who did they get? I think uh, they got uh, IJ Azuma. Yeah, Azuma wears over 21 there. He got the foul. I like him a lot. Backup, big, strong, thick, good, kind of a, you know, a good backup post guy that can bang you and work you over. He's got a big time body. Ball State on the inbound. He's got 20 as a reach in foul. It's going to be called on uh, Miles Brown. And no, Brown is saying what, but quite frankly, I mean, he's slapping down the basketball. There's just no reason for that. No, not a smart foul there. Again, you want your team to play aggressive on the defensive end, but good defensive teams don't foul a lot, and they keep the other team off the free throw line. Just not a real smart foul there. So back on the floor for Ohio is Ben Roderick. Sparks. Look down underneath, might have missed Demarius Jacobs, who had uh, come free. Bumbleo off the pull up. Nope, back rim. Ohio by three, and look at the poor Sears is going to unload. Got it. Again, 23 and 8, 14 and 6 in the MAC. Looking to advance like Toledo and Akron and Kent State have to the MAC semis. Getting that to go in the paint was Tyler Cochran. It'll stay with Ball State. I mean, Cochran's, a, you know, we said it early on. He, he should be playing the tight end for Mike News Ball State football Cardinals. Yeah, I like him. Big physical guard. Gets a lot done. 
We got contact there uh, before the inbound. It was that tight end uh, getting planted. They get Ben Roderick. Roderick and Cochran were just locked up with one another. The official made the. Oh my goodness gracious! Cochran shoved him there. Well, oh, that's going to be on uh, Tyler Cochran. Just not a smart foul there by Cochran. Right there, he just shoves the defender down. Just a blatantly easy call for the official. Do you agree, Michael? Oh, yeah. Well, and, and again, listen, you got to keep your composure. You know, now's not the time with Ohio on this run. All State's going from five up to six down, and you, you, you got to keep your wits about yourself, right? That's a great point. Vanderplas to unload. Good job in the glass by Ball State's Peyton Sparks. We're inside, three minutes left. Cocker. Good look to Sparks. Can he finish? Didn't, but he'll get to the free throw line. And now it's the Ohio bench. Look at Ben Vanderplas telling him, calm down, we're okay. The Ohio bench uh, did not like that whistle. Well, I'll tell you what I like. I like the left handed post feed by Cochran. I like getting the ball to Peyton Sparks and see if he can do something for you around the rim. See Jeff Bowles talking about it. It's been a bit of a drought for this Ball State offense now. They're trying to cut into this Ohio six point lead late stages first half. Sparks got the second one to go down. Ball State down five, the sixth seed. A nine and ten did Ball State in the MAC campaign. This is Tommy Schmock. Izuma in traffic. Vanderplas had a stick back that wouldn't go down. Cochran off the spin. Cochran going to the deck and getting it up and down with the left hand. Bulldog, driver, tough, competitive. That's what he is. Nice finish there. I'm not sure how he got that one in. Sears now against Cochran. Trying to take him off the bounce. Did take him off the bounce. First team all back performer Mark Sears for Ohio's got 13 Murray. Well, it was a great drive, bad perimeter defense by Cochran, and I'd like to see Sparks come over and block that shot, but he wasn't able to do it. Ball State's going to keep the possession alive after Jacobs missed the three. Bumbleo's back. Jacobs off the attack, gave it up, knocking out the three for Ball State's Mern Thomas connecting. Well, big time three on a big time pass. You punch the paint, you zip it out to a three point shooter. The shooter's got a wide open three and he buries it. Cardinals hanging around back to within five as Sears works on Cochran. This is Tommy Schmuck. Shot clock at six. Vanderplas gave it up inside. That is rejected. By Mer Thomas. Excellent rejection, but now Thomas appears to be down and on the deck. But oh, did he come? That's a major league block. Big time block. Mm. Came out of nowhere. I'm not sure where he came from, but made a covered a lot of ground. He was on the right side of the floor, covered a lot of ground to make that play. I mean, Azuma, I thought he he, he looked like he thought I got a chippy here. And out of nowhere came Thomas. It was a great pass on the high low. I think that was from Vanderplas. But a nice pass. Looked like he was going to score. I wish he would have gotten it and scored it a little quicker, but a big time block shot there. Defensively, I've always liked defenders that can cover ground. It really takes care of a lot of problems. Oh, yeah, and he, sure. he really covered a lot of ground on that rotation to get that block shot. That he did. Thomas is going to be looked at by the Ball State Athletic Training Staff. Cardinals 
down just a deuce could tie it maybe take the lead uh, that underhand flip from Jacobs hung on the rim schmock excellent pass rocket that rim with that right handed power from Jason Carter what a pass by Tommy schmock that's the best play of the what happened there a nice pass great rim run by Carter and terrible transition D for Ball State. Ball State going to use it all. Shot clock's off. Eight seconds left. Cochran, that's real deep. And he'll lace that three. The big fella continues to bring it. Sears, and what a catch. Getting the ball, he tell the big guy, hey, go get it off the glass. If you want the ball, <laughs> then rebound the ball and get it off the glass. So he's got to do some of that as well. I can hear the great chief <laughs> telling his bigs that. That's good stuff. Speaking of bigs. Ben Vanderplas. And the body's falling all over the deck as Vanderplas in that first possession was trying to back his way down to the bucket for Ohio. Mickey Pearson, who is uh, starting this second half, where's number three? Only played five minutes in the first half, but he's beginning this second half for Ball State and checking Ben Vanderplas. A little bit more size. Vanderplas being hounded by Pearson. Well, Vanderplas just backing everybody down. Never got it to the rim. He's going to say, give me an assist. Exactly. That's a pass to the Jason Carter bucket. I'm going to tell you what, that was a great play by Carter to get to that ball and put that ball back in the basket. Bumbalo had a good look at three, didn't go down. Miles Brown running in that backcourt, of course, with. First team on Mac performer Mark Sears almost ripped away. Roderick's going to load it up and fill it up. And long range triple from Ben Roderick. Tell you what, no hesitation there. 25 made threes before this game and only 23%, but he buried that one. Yeah, that's his first bucket of the night for Roderick. Shot it with confidence, laced it. And then the uh, the foul on Ohio at uh, the Ball State offensive end. So it's a quick, a quick 5-0 run for Ohio. The lead's gone from one up to six. Cochran to launch, not that time. Sears quickly. Vanderplas will fire it from there. Vanderplas from the logo, the face-up three that's pure. Wow, deep, deep range. He hesitated at first, and then he let it go. That I'm going to say that's 32 feet. All of that. Bumbleo couldn't get in the right direction. Hopefully for them. All right, so Ohio with Miles Brown now initiating this offensive look. The Sears, Carter, Vanderplas. Great high low lob from Jason Carter to Vanderplas. The Bigs getting it done. 10 0 run. Finally ended by that long range three from Marty Thomas. Well, I'll tell you, a big three and a much needed three. And you're right, at the other end, the prior possession, a big time, big to big pass coming out of the timeout. That ends the 10 0 Ohio run as Thomas dialed up the three. Roderick on the kick out. Well, I think Vanderplas, he was rotating up near the top, but he thought Roderick was going to the rim. Well, it's just never good when you penetrate and you don't have any clue how you're going to finish it. You leave your feet not knowing where to go, and then you pass it. That's 99 times out of 100. That's the passer's fault. Turnover, Ohio's Bobcat. 10-0 run, though, to start this second half. Has him up eight. Sparks got to get something going. Couldn't finish it with the right hand. Mark Sears gave it up. Roderick to triple. Too firm. Run down by Carter. Big offensive board. Shot clock rerouted to 20. Carter will fade away. Another offensive board. Carter again. 
to attack the bucket. 0 for 3 on that trip by Ohio. Sparks had it ripped away by Vanderplas. Sparks was ready to crush that. Vanderplas had other ideas. Sears to unload. Again, things going quiet at both ends. Cochran, that's going to be an offensive foul to use that off arm to displace defense. He's got Sears up in the chops. Maybe a little show, but I tell you what, when Cochran hits you, Michael, you know it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't take a lot. Oh, yeah. I love him. He searches the contact out. I obviously don't like the foul, but man, is he a tough physical bruiser? Yeah, well, Cochran is uh, going to have to sit now. Right, was that his third? I think it I, was, I, I Michael. I think it's his third personal foul. We'll check that. Sears playing two man. He almost lost it. Vander Plaas, rainbow three. That one came up short. Ohio by eight, almost four minutes in. And a triple try off the mark by Jalen Sellers of Ball State. You see uh, I.J. Zuma on the floor. And he got hit with that personal foul. He pushed off after that shot came off the rim. Marius Jacobs to play it in. Well, I, I, Ohio is just flat out protecting that rim like monsters. Miles Brown on the rejection there. That is the fourth opportunity lay ins that Ball State's had tonight that Ohio has just rebuffed on them. Vanderplas on the back down. Off the spin, Vander and Vanderplas on the night has got nine points. Mark Sears leads Ohio with 13. Vanderplas and Miles Brown each have nine for the Bobcats. Can Luke Bumbelow get going from deep? He's only one of four on those three point bombs of his. Kick basketball. Shot clock at 20 for Ball State. Whistle as that ball was inbounded, and referee John Floyd has got an Ohio foul. That's going on IJ Azuma. Yeah, that's called big body on big bodies. Peyton Sparks against Azuma, and Azuma just nailed him kind of with a body chuck before the ball came inbound. Yeah, now Jason Carter is going to switch on Sparks, who's trying to post up in the paint. This is Sparks. Just can't finish. Strong move, can't, can't finish. He doesn't have a ton of lift in there. He's got a big, strong body, and he's only a freshman, so it'll come, but he doesn't have a ton of bounce uh, and pop in the paint. The Mac freshman of the year, Carter. Tough spinning jumper and ring that up for Ohio. Tell you what Carter's got. He's got big time high level footwork. Can really move, knows how to play. Great pivoting, really good skill. Big inside. Biggest lead of the night for Ohio. It's 11. Thomas had it slapped away. Jacobs ran it down. Shot clock at 10. Off the mark is Thomas on the triple try. Ohio can bump this lead up to 13, maybe to 14 here. Ball State needs a stop. Carter thought about it. Carter on the back down. Twisting jumper. He missed that wide right. Bumbelow passed up the J. Now attacking the hoop. Count it. Strong take. Jalen Sellers. Got the foul on Mark Sears of Ohio. Nice drive. Good shot fake. He lifted him. He got to the rim. Nice finish. The attempted charge, but I think the right call by the officials and not really a much, much needed drive. Could get a two 
two point basket plus possibly a free throw a nice three point play potentially and boy Ball State needed it. Bashir Jahad wears number 11 will check in for James Whitford and Ball State so will Luke Brown who wears number 25. Ohio's lead is going to stay at nine. Sellers couldn't convert the three point opportunity. We're inside 14 minutes left. A lot of time. And Vanderplas was uh, held by Thomas. Oh, oh, team fouls is that on Ball State? That's five? Yeah, that's five team fouls on Ball State. Ohio has four at seven in the college game and a half. You shoot the one in bonus. Sears wheeling and dealing through traffic. Sears on to attack the rim. That's a reach in foul. It's going to go on Ball State. 16 foul. There's still 1342 left, partner, and the next Ball State common foul. Ohio's at the free throw line the rest of the game. Yeah, number one, if so, if you're Ball State, quit fouling. And if you're Ohio, realize that. Get the ball to the paint and see if you can get fouled. Sears did get to the paint, but he traveled. You don't see that on Mark Sears a lot. Coach Jeff Bowles is telling them, Mark, shoot that floater from four feet away. Yeah, he had the four foot floater, and instead he was trying to dish it, was hoping the defender would step up and raise where he could pass it behind him to the big on the baseline, but the defender never came and ended up being a travel. Tommy Schmock is now on the floor for Jeff Bowles in Ohio. Trying to go right to left through the paint, but Jalen Sellers couldn't deliver it. Sears will hurry. Vanderplas skip pass Roderick for three. Offensive board, Carter got it. Tell you what, does he rebound? I'm not sure how many offensive rebounds he's got, but does he hit the glass? Double digit lead as we come inside 13 minutes. Ohio up 11. Bumbalo gave it up. Jalen Sellers, pretty pass to Sparks. And this time, Sparks, who took a shot up around his right shoulder, you see him holding that. Nothing easy around the rims here tonight. Sparks is going to go to the free throw line for Ball State. Yeah, and his shoulder's hurt. He's right here in front of us, and his right shoulder is uh, not feeling well. well he's uh, he shoots the basketball uh, with his left hand, uh, but uh, no, I agree with you. He, he's trying to rotate uh, that right shoulder to try to get some life in it. Freshman of the year, Peyton Sparks. The iron real kind to him there. Tyler Cochran back to Ball State. Miles Brown. Tyler Cochran is going to check back in. I think James Whitford saying we need uh, Cochran's hustle, muscle, and energy. Back on the floor. He does have three fouls, Cochran. But he couldn't want to make it two fouls, but. Also got 11 points and Whitford couldn't wait any longer. No, you got to get him back into the game, no question. And there's still a ton of time, but Ball State's got to make a little run here. Yeah. Vanderplas. Carter wants it right block. Off the spin. Sweet reverse. How about that? Coach Bartow for a decisive move off that right block. Well, he spun baseline. Not really good post either by Sparks, but Carter is kind of a jack of all trades. Can make the three, can score inside, can offensive rebound. Really a nice player. Well, Peyton Sparks has never got that near the rim. This is Tommy Schmock. Now Carter's feeling he wants it. Lost through the basketball away. Cochran on the rip. Cochran inside the Sparks who deliver with the right hand. Tyler Cochran knows how to play the game of basketball, doesn't he, partner? No question. That was all him. Great penetration, drew the big defender up. When you help up, means somebody's open behind you, and then he made the great pass. Home State's hanging around, boys and girls. Down nine. 
Vanderplas, baseline hard. Well, look at the size of Vanderplas. He just flat out bogarted Thomas and put him wherever he wanted him to be. Big, strong, thick body. You're exactly right. Got to the rim, finished against contact. The team 100% to bring him on back. Michael? Yeah, Danny, how good was Jason Preston last year for these Ohio Bobcats? And now, as you said, in the NBA, firing that three to keep Ball State hanging around was Demarius Jacobs who drained the three. And a great pass, Cochran. Nice three there by Jacobs in the right corner. Now Mark Sears. First team all Mac performer. 13 points, nine boards, four assists. As always, stuff in the stat sheet. Shot clock at five. Zuma had nowhere to go. Shot reject. Shot clock at two. Going high off glass, but not knocking it out was Miles Brown. Cochran to load it up. It looked good, leaving his hand wouldn't stay in the hole. Now baseline hard for Mark Sears. Schmock turned it down. Brown floater board for Ohio's IJ Izuma, and the whistle's going to be on Ball State. on Tyler Cochran as he continues his battle with the Ohio Bigs. Ben Vanderplas is back. A.J. Clayton who was on the floor momentarily will head back to the bench. Well, I'll tell you one guy you cannot take out of the game if you're James Whitford. You can't take Cochran out of the game. Three fouls, four fouls, whatever. You need him in the game right now to have a chance to make this run. Right inside the halfway point of the second half. Ball State hanging it down eight. That's going to be a foul on uh, Ohio's uh, Mar uh, Miles Brown. Ohio foul number two, Miles Brown. Third. That's three on Team Miles Jim. Brown. That's a six team foul. Next one gets Ball State to the free throw line. Still a world of time left. James Whitford's Ball State Cardinals tried to uh, end the chalk theme, the top four seed theme. That's uh, occurred with the first three seeds here already. Cochran spinning, whirling, and going off the glass. That's a big bucket to bring Ball State to within six. Big time basket, just strong to the rim. Now Sears being checked. Jalen Sellers for Ball State. Brown to load up the three. It's going to be a whistle and it's going to go on Ohio as IJ Izuma. That's his fifth foul. And with that being a team foul uh, number seven now, we're shooting free throws, Murray Bartow, the rest of the way with 9.25 to go. Both teams to take advantage of the free throw line. Well, at timeouts, if I'm coaching this, one of these teams, I'm really talking defensively, we can't foul. So play aggressively, but don't foul. But offensively, Let's recognize that and let's drive the ball. Let's be aggressive to the yeah. rim and let's see if we can get to the free throw line some. Double double for that man for the Mac freshman of the year. Peyton Sparks 10 points 11 boards. Make it 11 points 11 boards. Aha. Uh -huh. Ball State down 11 now down just four. The Cardinals crowd letting them hear about it here. In Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Sears for Ohio. This is Jason Carter. Carter backing down Sparks. That's a tough finish for Jason Carter on that step through in the paint. 
Cochran gonna unload it. Back rimmed it. Bulls in Ohio or James Whitford in Ball State. Sparks. That clean look at three, but way too much on it for Jalen Sellers. He was standing all by himself, but he couldn't cash it out. Lead stays at six. Carter to rock that rim. How about the basketball acumen of Sears? That was a phenomenal kickback pass from Sears to Carter for the dunk. Clean look at three from Luke Brown that didn't go down. Back to a 10 point game. We're coming inside eight minutes on this Ohio trip to the offensive end. Sears wheeling and dealing on Jalen Sellers. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Schmack. Shot clock now at eight. Brown to attack the cup. They go strong on that big step to the rim. Lead at 10 again. Sellers needs it. Didn't happen. Quick shot, Murray, in that uh, that offense. I don't like quick shots unless you're a really high Good coach, yes. but a neat man and a great man. I agree with you a million percent, coach. I miss Larry Hunter. Um, devastating when he passed away at such a young age. And again, he was tremendous running the Ohio program in Athens. And nothing going down right now for Ball State as that basketball for Tyler Cochran wouldn't stay in the hole. This is very, very difficult time now for Ball State. They're down by a dozen. They need stops. Sears off the step back. He's going to shoot three free throws. And what Bashir Jahad challenged that. And Murray, he clipped Mark Sears on the delivery. Well, you just can't do that. You cannot run at a shooter and foul the shooter. It's just not. It's not good basketball. Yes, you want to close quickly. Yes, you want to challenge the shot, but last thing you want to do is foul the shooter. Seven minutes to go. I look back to the last game. Yeah. Looked like the game was getting really out of hand for Miami. They somehow dug down and got it to nine, then got it to seven, and they chipped away. And that's what's going to be interesting here. It's a 14 point game now, and you, it'll just be interesting to see the energy level left. In this Ball State team. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Mark Sears, one of four Ohio Bobcats in double figures, got 15, make it 16, and it's red alert time if you're a Ball State Cardinal fan. We're going inside seven minutes. The deficit for the cards is now 15. Cochran, oh, that's a pretty pass. Bumbalo. Thomas gave it up. Brown with a floater. No. Another empty possession for Ball State. Hey, Ohio's all over the floor defensively, pressuring the ball. Rotations are good. They're everywhere. Sears will splash that long range three. I don't want to say that's the uh, that's the nail, but this lead is 18, and that was big. Bumbalo can't answer. Ball State in trouble. Sears again. Bang! And I know you're I you're heading it. down to Texas, but I gotta watch a lot of tape. I love and then it. I'll give you my answers you, tomorrow. You sound like a coach. That's good. I like that. Very good answer. Thank you, sir. Very politically yeah, right well, answer. Thank you. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you four really good teams. Yes. And confident teams. Yes. Sparks got to have something. Lost the basketball. I mean, again, look, look at the confidence Ohio was playing with. Both heads on the floor. They just don't want to relent. They don't want to give you anything easy. They've got a 21 point lead and still playing lockdown D. Deep triple. That one didn't go down as uh, that was fired up by Miles Brown. Sellers will attack the cup. He's going to get to the free throw line on the vendor plus foul. Hey, 
And what? You are going to Conference USA tomorrow? I am. No? I am yeah, doing you UAB radio. Oh, I do a lot UAB. of UAB radio. I got you. So That's going, cool. Going down to see UAB. Okay. I tell you what, if I wasn't going down to do UAB radio, I would be right stay here with right me. Here. I really would. Good. I'd stay right here and because these semis tomorrow night are going to be fantastic. They really are. Yeah. Yeah, okay. we're not trying to be premature, I, and, uh, but again, I mean, look, Ohio's up 20 with five minutes left, and uh, we're not going to put them there just yet, but let's just say all signs are certainly looking like the Ohio Bobcats are going to make chalk the top four seeds a reality here for the semis tomorrow in the MAC. Sears. Vanderplas should have shot that. His pass to Carter was ripped away. Bumbalo. Oh, you gotta fire that Luke. Down 20, son. Gotta fire it. Passing the basketball a lot with an empty result for Ball State. Last touch though off of Sears. It'll stay with the Cardinals. I'm 100% like you when you said that. You're not going to get a better shot when you come down. You're down 20. And Bumbleo, when he catches that first one, let it go. And that's his game. Let it go. Yep. 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 Time starting to become a real problem for the Ball State Cardinals in this 20 point deficit. Sellers going to raise up. Shots just not going down for Ball State. Okay, well, does Carter play and does he rebound the basketball? I'm looking up at the scoreboard. <laughs> 17 <laughs> rebounds. Is he everywhere? 20 points is one thing, but what's impressive is the 17 rebounds. Yeah, baby. That's a big time double double. Sears give it up. Schmack. Nope. Another board, Jason Carter, his 18th coach. He's going for a 20-20 double-double, not a little 10-10 double-double. How about that? He may go for a 20-20 double-double. You don't see too many of those in the college game. Vanderplas, he'll pull from there. Vanderplas, nothing but spring music. That's his second 30-plus foot bomb tonight. And does he do it easy? I mean, that's not... A hard launch for him. That's just an easy, effortless three. Well, the lead is 23. Make it 21 as Demarius Jacobs will connect from in tight. I like Jacobs. I like Sparks. Sparks going to be a really good player. He's just got to work his tail off this summer, continue to get better and better. Obviously, freshman of the year in the league. And yeah. he's got great size. He's just got a lot of work to do ahead of him, and hopefully he'll do that in the next four or five months, getting ready for next season. The Ohio Bobcats, this is a one-point game, folks, and they just broke this baby open to everything. And the, bot the bottom line to get two teams in, it's really hard to get two teams into the tournament, but you, you got to play great non-conference schedule. you got to try to beat some people. And, a lot of things. I'm not very happy with Jeff Bowles right now. I was, he took, he took, Je oh my, Peyton Sparks. But I want to see Jason Carter get his 20 and 20, and <laughs> now he's going to be sitting out for the last two minutes of the game. Yeah, Jeff Bowles is, uh, he's still got Vanderplas in. He's got Ben Roderick and Mark Sears in. He's got three of his starters, four of his starters on the floor. Schmack had his pass slapped away. 12 on the shot clock, 217 left in it. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be fun. You're going to have top seed Toledo tangling with four seed Akron and two seed Kent State and three seed Ohio. <laughs> Sears off the mark on the deep triple. Bumbleo on the run. Sellers. That's a blocking foul that's going to be called on Ohio's. Ben Vanderplas. Well, I love the aggressive drive, number one. Good aggressive drive, and Vanderplas up 21. Two minutes to play, steps in, tries to take the charge. Tough kid. Yeah, yeah real tough kid. 
14 points at a couple of deepest threes you're going to find here from the logo. A couple strides inside the timeline tonight. And the Ohio Bobcats are uh, inside two minutes now from putting this away. Jeff Bowles played here, as we mentioned, at Ohio University for the late, great Larry Hunter with Gary Trent. He was given the nickname the Shack of the Mac back in the day. I know you remember that, Murray Barto and uh, well, Larry Hunter, though, but every night, you know, at Convocation Center down in Athens, they would put 13, 14,000 in there every night in home games. And Larry Hunter was the maestro of it, man. He did a fabulous job. And Gary Trent, you talking about a warrior now. 6-4, nasty, tough, physical, kind of an undersized post type guy, but man, thick, tough, strong. I remember him well. Really a good player. Just for, you know, the layman, kind of a modern day Charles Barkley. Very similar. That kind of build, 6'5, maybe 235, 40 pounds, and just a terror around the rim. Unstoppable. Basketball is going to stay with uh, Ball State. And now, I mean, you know, who knows? What the NCAA tournament last year did Jeff Bowles with Jason Preston and Ben Vanderplas, Jason Carter, and these Ohio Bobcats. And this Ohio crowd now, blooding Sears and Vanderplas. Hear all the accolades. Sparks. Sparks. Yeah, he got that, and one more coming. Sparks got that to fall, so the uh, the Mac freshman of the year. And, you know, it's going to be an under 500 season for James Whitford. They're going to finish 14 and 17. But uh, again, if he keeps this roster intact, Murray, I think you got. Major things ahead for their program. Oh, I agree. I agree. He's got good young players. Sparks has a chance to really be a good big. It's hard to get good bigs. A lot of times you can get the guards, but it's hard to get guys that are good bigs. And he's right there close to their campus. Big, strong, big. Got a chance to really be a good player, but he's still got some work to do for sure. Deep step back and firing in that three. He won't quit playing, will he? Well, Cochran's had a heck of a game. Cochran's been tremendous tonight. That's his fourth three that he's nailed tonight. It's going to be too little too late. And as Ohio is going to put this one away. It's out of bounds. It's going to belong to Ball State. 38 seconds left. Sets up the Max semifinals that are going to be big time tomorrow night here in downtown Cleveland. Stepping his way through the paint, Jalen Sellers didn't get it to go. Sparks has got a put back. Sparks got that to go down. It was just 20 a minute ago, wasn't it? Was. It was. <laughs> it's down to 11 now. Down to 11. It was 21, I think, and now it's down to 11. 21 was the he makes this lead, yeah. down to 10 and. I would assume that Ohio will push it up and I would assume there won't be another shot in this game. Now you wouldn't think so. Shot clock will be off when Ohio heads to the offensive end. You know, this uh, pro green and white Ohio crowd running loose with the famous oh you oh yeah chant that they uh, so you've heard that a time or two. I've, I've heard it a time or a thousand, yeah. Oh, yeah. They've had a terrific season. Going to take them to the MAC semifinals tomorrow night. Well, Ball State's pressure in the basketball. Jeff 
Bowles going to his bench. Shouldn't be another shot taken. 12 seconds left. You can. Well, they stripped it away. Cochran and Sellers. There is going to be another shot taken. Didn't go down. It's over. 